beautiful Newport, Rhode Island, the sailing capital of the world. Good day, you cracking good humans. The Maven, Hannah, Shane, Victoria, Ryan, and every other cracking human all over the world. Let's ride. G'day you cracking humans. Don, that was probably my pick of the bunch as far as intros go. Good work, man. <laughs> From one bicycle pedal to another, this is Cycling Maven. Get up out of the saddle, push hard. The pedals are your enemy. Destroy. And have water in your water bottle. Drink water. Sea can destroy. Stay well hydrated. This is what a very hungover man looks like. Creatine. Me? No, this one, this one. I'm not hungover. Not, not this one. Not that one, this one. So that there is where we've got dinner tonight, in that little building right there. 1,000 people. A thousand people in that building. I'm craving more. Good morning, beautiful people, morning, humans. champ humans, <laughs> vlogging here, vlogging here from Sydney. You can see outside, this is our room, beautiful view, great view. Australian flag, blowing in the breeze. Get some original material though. And uh, it's about 21 degrees here today. Give us a, uh, give and, us an uh, intro, bro. Uh, mate, we've just got back from the um, plenary and it's tears.com. <laughs> the, these boys are taking the piss out of me. Yeah. They're ripping, the, they're ripping it into me. Sorry, guys. What do you guys think? No, no, no. I think we should troll them. It just, uh, I've just commandeered the Maven's camera and we're just about to... <laughs> we're just about to drop it <laughs> just and break it. <laughs> we're just... Uh, it's all right, I've got <laughs> loads of money, I'll pay for it. <laughs> Have you flown it before? Right. Yeah, this thing. You've yeah. flown it heaps. Have you? Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's in good hands then, it's not going to fall. You or obviously don't watch my no, vlog. No, I've seen Tony. a couple, hey but not with the drone. This is how you do it. You, you put it onto your cycling shorts. Go on, I gotta go. Come back. I gotta go. Well, he's gonna go do some drones. He's gotta get yeah. the drone up. See the oh, see the sun. It's starting to set oh, over yeah. Sydney. Oh, it's uh, moments like this where I wish I had my uh, skateboard or I don't know, just a bike or something to move a little bit quicker than what I'm moving right now. And I really can't be bothered running. But the sun's going down, so hopefully I get the. Uh, the drone in the air, that'll be good. So I just thought I'd do a little Q&A down here on the Darling Harbour foreshore. It's absolutely beautiful down here at the moment. Probably a little bit chilly, I'm in a t-shirt and it's a little bit breezy, but um, all these boats are flying past, it's amazing. Check this out. So someone says, are you gonna get the Bianchi fixed or are you going to get it repaired? Look, I can't be bothered going down the legal action route, so I'm probably just gonna get the Bianchi repaired. Uh, I just don't have the energy to, to engage with lawyers and do that stuff, so it, it is what it is and uh, it's, it's, I'm gonna move on from that accident and uh, I'll probably ride the Bianchi a little bit more. Uh, one of the guys says, do you have, uh, do you find that uh, editing videos removes your ability to cycle. Yes, I would say that's true to some degree. I'm spending more time filming and editing, which really sort of erodes into my cycling time. All right, I've literally answered two questions. It's freezing down here. It's, I'm starting, I've only got a t-shirt on, and that breeze is really starting to pick up. So I'm gonna move to the bedroom, or the hotel room. Question, would I move to Sydney? Uh, I'm looking around, I've been to Sydney a number of times. The only thing problem about Sydney, Sydney is a beautiful place. I'm sure there's some great riding in Sydney, but my experience in Sydney, it's very hard to get around, particularly in a car. And uh, there's not as much depth, so I have to compare it to Melbourne, right? And I don't want to offend anyone from Sydney, but compared to Melbourne, I don't think there's as much depth of being, you know, cycling routes being accessible. And uh, I mean, I rode across the Sydney Harbour Bridge one when I was here last time, and uh, 
I had to get off my bike to walk up and down. Like I just don't think the attitude of the uh, the people running, you know, the infrastructure here is, to, you know, swayed towards cyclists, which I find fascinating because it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. So yeah, very frustrating. I wouldn't move here as a cyclist. I love Sydney. I think it's a great place to party and have a good time, but I wouldn't move here to live and ride and stuff like that. It's a little bit warmer than Melbourne though. Melbourne gets a bit chilly. All right, good morning legends. It's actually the next morning, it's Sunday morning, but uh, I just remembered that I didn't actually record any more uh, question and answers from yesterday. So I thought I'd sit down before we leave to go to the airport and uh, finish off the Q&A from yesterday. So it says here, hey Mark, what thickness tyres do you use on your road bike? So look, I opt for 25 mil thickness. Uh, I like the Continental GP4000s, they're great, great tyres. And you get very few punches with them, so I rate them highly. Hey Mark, are you ever gonna throw a, a ring on Hannah's finger? Ooh, that's a tough question. Dunno, maybe. She's definitely a keeper, that one. But uh, we'll see what the future has in store. Uh, how cold does it get in Melbourne? It gets down to about, you know, like, it gets low. It gets like to just above zero degrees Celsius. Some days it's two degrees and some days it's five degrees. That's probably the coldest it actually gets in Melbourne city and uh, in the mornings and very early usually and it's cold enough for me, man. I struggle in that sort of temperature. Hey Mark, what's the minimum full-time hours in Australia? You make Australia look like a very attractive place to live. Uh, look, Australia is very casual. Um, we have a very casual demeanor, so it makes it look as though we're not working. But the truth is, I am working, and I won a sales award at, my, at this sales conference. So uh, I am actually doing the work, plus doing the YouTube stuff. Um, and I work a 40-hour week, and it is a 40-hour week, so. Um, so yeah, yeah. This woman over here is clapping. She's just standing there clapping. I'm like, oh my God. I think I'm hungover and grumpy today. Hey Mark, are you going to get back into training and get fit again? Yes, I will. Probably not through our Australian winter, which is obviously uh, right now. Um, probably in August, September, I'll get back on the bike properly and train for the summer crits again. Hey Mark, are you gonna do that Tour Down Under ride from Melbourne to Adelaide? Yes, I, I have every intention of doing it. Uh, probably over four to five days, not, or even six days. Uh, just take it a little bit slower than what I've done in the past, simply because I want to enjoy it. I want to uh, take my time. I mean, anything more than eight hours a day on the bike is, in, in my opinion, unnecessary. I think you can do six hours on the bike and then when you get to the destination, maybe chill out and do a bit of sightseeing or whatever. So probably, probably six days I would do it, depending on leave. If I've got enough annual leave, I'll definitely take the time off and do it. If I don't have enough annual leave, I'll probably just give it a miss this year. All right, that's the end of the Q&A, guys. I've got to get on a plane. These nights are usually the quiet nights because everyone's got to get up in the morning and catch the flight out of here. So. Thunder! This comes rolling in. So. Right. And Master Mines, how fantastic. So we've moved outside. I've had a couple of beers now. I'm sort of, actually, I'm steaming to be honest with you. But I'm standing here with two legends. Right, Sasha, it's my mate Sasha. But it's the last night of, uh, what's it called? Rapid. What's the light show called? Vivid. Vivid. So it's the last night of Vivid. Let's check it out.
Yeah. Yeah. Are you buying a new bike when you get back home? Probably. Yeah. What, what are you going to get? What I are you bought a new one actually. A Malvin Star. Malvin Star. <laughs> <laughs> Spokes. Yeah, Hokey Spokies. Hokey Spokies. <laughs>